Hello, my name is Jordan Lankford Forster. My Aani name is Bright Trail Woman. And today I will be doing the activity with you called the winner count. So what you will need is the piece of paper that came in your packet. And you're going to need this image right here. You're going to need a pair of scissors. Make sure that you ask someone before using the scissors. You're also going to need um, something to write with, so a pen or a pencil or colored pencils or crayons, and your hook. So let's get started. In the story that you read, the man in the red suit was given a bison robe or a buffalo robe to keep warm. For American Indian tribes living on the plains, bison or buffalo were used for so many different things from food, tools, lodging, and clothing. Bison can weigh anywhere from 880 pounds to almost 3,000 pounds. They are the largest animal found in Montana today. Bison hides were also used to keep records on. American Indians kept track of each year or major events in history. Wanietu Wawapi is the Lakota Sioux name for a winter count. Wanietu meaning a year and Wawapi meaning anything that can be counted. So usually they kept track of years from first snowfall to first to last snowfall. So anything that was in between those events, that was counted as a year. Many tribes still use winter counts and today a lot of American Indian artists paint pictures on them. So this is an actual bison hide. This side has been tanned and then this side still has the original bison fur on it. If you were making a winter count, this would be the side that you drew on or painted your picture on. So this would be the side that tribes used to tell their story, either in a circular motion, or um, you could tell your story straight across, however you would like. In our story that we read, the man in the red suit, he was given a bison hide to keep warm because when his sleigh went down, it was very, very cold and he was in the snow. Here's an example of a winter count that one of my students made. She's telling the story about her school experience and she identifies that she is a girl and she is happy that school is open. She's working hard. The reason that she used a beaver in this picture is because beavers are known for building great things and working very, very hard. She's working very, very hard to achieve graduation and earn her eagle feather. So the first thing you're going to need to do is ask if you can use the scissors first and begin cutting out your winner count. And remember again, a winner count is used from bison or buffalo hide. And this is what a bison or buffalo hide would look if it were to be laid out flat. My student used an example of her life, but you can draw whatever you would like to tell a story on your winter count. So. I'm going to choose to pick my favorite part of the story. And my favorite part of the story is when the man in the red suit came upon some lodges. And I know that those lodges meant teepees. So I am going to draw my favorite part of the story. And that is when he comes across those teepees. So oh, you can make your own symbols if you'd like to. You can draw a picture of your favorite memory. You can tell the story of your life, or you can pick something that you liked best from the story, whatever you'd like to do. If you have a hole punch at home, you can hole punch this and put your hook in it and hang it wherever you would like. Or if you don't have a hole punch at home, something that you can do is just fold over a piece of it. So it's folded in half like that. Make a little cut. And that will create a hole so that you can put your hook in it and hang it on your tree, just like that. I hope that you guys had fun making your very own winter count. Like I said, you can hang this on your tree if you would like, if you have one. You could give it as a gift. You could make a little card out of it. You can do whatever you want, but I hope that you guys are having a fun and safe winter break. And we are so excited to see you guys when you come back to school.